guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching this video. As you can tell by the title, today's video is gonna be very exciting. This is the first getting a new pet video that I've done in a while. I haven't had any new pets in more than a year, so it is very exciting. So today I'm going to be adopting my new Roborowski dwarfs hat, bleh, dwarfs hat, bleh setting up my new cage for my Roborowski hamster. I will vlog the whole experience of beforehand cleaning the cage, setting it up, the adoption process, going to get the hamster, putting the hamster in. If you like this kind of content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, let's just get stuck into the video. So if you guys are familiar with my channel, then obviously you will know that my Syrian hamster ducky just passed away, which is really sad. I miss her very much. It wasn't too long. I'm an extremely impulsive person and it wasn't much long after her cage was empty that I was looking at the cage and I was just like, it would be so selfish of me not to rescue or adopt another hamster and put them in that cage because I've just got this giant cage lying around and there's so many hamsters out there that need help and need adopting and so many rescue centres that need assistance and things like that and I was like, you know what, whether I'm emotionally there yet or not, it would be wrong if I didn't rescue someone. So that's what I decided to do. Usually my adoption process consists of me going on things like Pets for Homes, Pre-Loved, Gumtree, things like that. But I did something a little bit different this time. I contacted some sanctuaries near me in the area and asked which animal needed to be adopted the most and I was going to take that one in. Anything that was suitable for the cage that I had, so like gerbils, dagoos mice, hamsters. And I was prepared to do my research and just take even take like an old animal or a sick animal or ones that have been at the rescue for a long time and don't have good prospects of getting adopted because of whatever reason, I might as well just get them and do a good thing. Uh, so that was kind of the logic that I had. And uh, yeah, I contacted two different sanctuaries in my area and both got back to me pretty quickly. Both these two separate sanctuaries said that the Roborowskis, they had a bunch of Roborowskis that no one wanted to adopt. I think the Syrian hamsters get snapped up pretty quickly, whereas the Robos tend to sort of stay at the sanctuaries for longer. People don't want to adopt them as much, mainly because you can't really handle them and they're really fast. They're not good pets with kids. I never really handled my hamster ducky much anyway because she was a rescue and she was pretty afraid and timid so i just kind of let her be so i kind of by that logic was like a robo would be perfect like i'm never gonna try and impose myself on this animal he's just gonna have a massive cage i'm gonna leave him be and he's just gonna like be the king of his sanctuary <laughs> the sanctuary that i did choose to go to in the end was a sanctuary called mimi's rodent rescue they're in london if you want to follow their facebook then you can please help them out it's run by a really nice lady called mimi uh she was really really nice really helpful so now i just need to go to pets at home get some stuff set up the cage then go and get my little baby and uh yeah i really hope that you guys enjoy the rest of the video so I'm just taking a quick trip to Pets at Home to just buy a couple of supplies before I go and get him later on in the evening. I have to set up his cage beforehand so I can just put him straight in and there were a few Roborowski hamsters at the pet shop today which got me so excited. There was this cute little boy, he was honestly adorable and I was just getting so excited at this point. I did actually get in trouble for filming from the staff at the pet shop which always kind of concerns me a little bit. I feel like if they're not comfortable me filming, it's like what they got to hide. Pets at home have changed the interior of their whole shop as well and the cages are considerably smaller than they were before, which yeah, I definitely didn't like. Hi guys, welcome back. How is everyone doing? I've just come back from Pets at Home, did like a really mini haul and I'm just gonna show you guys what I got really quickly. I do have like a whole bunch of supplies left over from Ducky, so there wasn't really a lot that I needed to get. But obviously there are some things I needed to get like bedding and a different size wheel and things like that. So I'm just gonna really quickly show you guys what I bought. It's really not exciting by the way, it's just some small little things. So number one is I bought this little hut. I remember when I was a kid and I 
had dwarf hamsters, they really liked this hut because it hasn't got a bottom. They can have like a whole burrow underneath, which is good. And they can chew this and stuff. I also bought this massive like bendy bridge thing. This can be used as like a flat surface or it can be like a bridge to somewhere or a tunnel or whatever. I just thought this was the kind of thing that was like useful and that I probably should just own if you know what I mean. Or you can even use it to like separate different substrates. You want to have one half of the cage one substrate and the other half something else then you can use that. Next I got a mini wheel. This is obviously a suitable size for a Roboroski Rubber hamster. It's not suitable for a Syrian or a Winter White or the other kinds of dwarfs, just the Roboroski, the really teeny ones. And the wooden products, the new ones and the old ones, I am gonna be baking in the oven at 200 degrees for half an hour. This just kills any bacteria that is on them. And I'll be giving a wipe down with some pet safe wipes to all the plastic supplies as well. I've already like had a massive clean out of her cage, redone everything. And then the last thing I bought from the shop was two of these care fresh beddings care fresh is extremely out of my price range i can't afford to consistently have hamsters on them which is why i bulk buy these are the other substrates that i have this is a tea bag bedding which i would definitely recommend it's very cheap and this is like a cardboard bedding that i use for my rats in their baskets this is really good quality but it's just so <laughs> expensive so it is a lot cheaper to do this so in the new hamsters cage i am going to be using the paper bedding and the care fresh i think in the future i'm going to use orbios orbios is a hemp based bedding it's kind of like aspen but it's got less dust in it i'm going to set up the cage for you guys yeah so stay tuned so just because my old hamster did die of an unknown illness, I did actually end up throwing away most of her supplies. Any chew toys, basically anything I couldn't like scrub clean just in case there was any contamination. I really didn't want to make the new hamster ill. Once I'd finished setting up the new hamster, it was time to go and get him. This was very exciting. It really wasn't that far. It was just a train ride there and a train ride back. When I got there, it was a very easy transaction. Mimi was waiting for me at the door. I had to sign a form just saying, basically, I don't have intent to sell or breed the animal. And she told me a little bit about his backstory. And here he is on the way home. He was very lively in the car, actually, on the way back. He was very quick. I was just, my bag was rustling and I was getting getting so self-conscious that the other people on the train knew that I had an animal that's always a big fear about taking public transport with pets but in the end it was fine and yeah took him home first arrived and honestly he was so so teeny and so cute i have a sneaky suspicion that he was rescued from like a breeder rather than a pet shop because his coat he looks very like fancy like his coloring i've never seen a robo like him before but if you guys know about robos comment down below and let me know if you agree with me or not but yeah he just had the most adorable little face and he was so fast it was so exciting watching him running around sniffing everything out he did like laps and laps of the cage it was just so nice to see him have so much space he really liked the chamber box 
you could tell he's never had anything like that before and yeah he just he really liked it in there going from having a syrian to a robo is interesting he is fast like very very fast a bit manic as well kind of crazy i thought syrians my old syrian hamster ducky was crazy he is another level of fast and crazy i doubt i'm ever actually gonna really be able to handle him which is fine i didn't get him for my selfish reasons put my hands all over him he can be free and just live his little hamster life guys so that is the end of the video today if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel all that it really helps out merry christmas and happy new years to everyone <laughs> i'm probably not going to be posting another video until after until the new year and i'll probably be doing an update video on what it's like the differences between having a robo and a syrian hamster because trust me the differences are vast. <laughs> okay, I just realized that I completely forgot to tell you guys what his name is. It is a male, it is a little robo male, and the name that I've chosen to go for is, drum roll, King. Because as you heard me say in the intro, he is the king of his massive cage, he has that whole space just on his own. It makes him feel a little bit bigger as well. He's such a teeny little delicate, Thing. and yeah I feel like he deserves a powerful name and I really like the one syllables for the solitary animals so yeah he is called King um, yeah so I hope that everyone has a good Christmas and New Year's and I'll see you guys in the new year bye